Welcome back to the Beard Bros Podcast. Before we get started, like the video, subscribe if you have it. Let's just get into this. John Jones. Oh, shit. He's back. I don't know, man. I don't know what, like, it's not bad in the sense of it has nothing to do with the sport. But every time he gets involved, like, suspended from UFC, it's because of stuff that doesn't involve the UFC. Well, no, I get that part. But I'm just saying, like, like, yeah, what he did is unacceptable. No doubt about it. I'm not here to make excuses for him. But at the same time, it's like he didn't cheat, like, doing steroids or nothing. So I'm not entirely mad. But I'm disappointed because it's like, bro, you're 30, dog. Like, get your shit together. Like, what are you doing? And obviously, I don't know all the details, but just the fact you got arrested and shit, it's like, bro, you're supposed to be a grown-ass man, you know, set an example, unless you just don't care. And, John, I don't dislike you. I'd like you to come on to the podcast. I'm going to tag you in this, and hopefully you'll come on and explain yourself. You might not be able to because... Legal Illegal issue, yeah. issues. Legality, I'm pretty sure you won't be able yeah, to. Yeah, but just, like, come explain to us, like, what, bro, what, what's going through your mind? Yeah, what's your mindset throughout this, like, this 10 year of troublemaking? Because, like, right before you fought Daniel Cormier. Got caught cheating. There was cheating. Then you got the cocaine situation. What well, was drugs? We, we, it we, was an accident on a pregnant woman. Not an accident on a pregnant woman, but, like, got an accident involving a pregnant woman that involved possession of like cocaine and shit we ain't saying you were on cocaine maybe selling cocaine. Maybe, I don't, and that's cool if you want to do drugs that's cool that has nothing and i don't care that's, that's true because you see all these other guys go on the joe rogan and it's okay to do shrooms and yeah i'm not you know saying I mean? don't do whatever you want to do but like like what's your mindset through that I, but I wanna, like a, like you're right why are you doing drugs anyways I mean, drug, cocaine's a rich man drug, so it's like... Okay, let's just say he does do drugs. That's cool. Like, I ain't going to judge you for that. Do no, drugs. I, don't I, really I, I, I watch a YouTuber but that does when mad When you're, drugs. like, on the level John's on... Yeah, super... Hall of Famer. And I get it. I get it. Oh, yeah. Hall of Famer. I mean, technically Hall of Famer more. He, he took it was first, his fight yeah. into the Hall of Fame. So him and... Uh, Daniel. Gustafsson. Oh, that's who it was. Yeah, they they uh, they made it to the Hall of Fame, but their fight made it to the Hall of Fame, not each other. If that makes well, sense. Well, he's going to be a Hall. Of yeah, Fame. he'll be a Hall of Famer someday. He's, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. It's but. just, but do you think? Okay, let's look at it this way. Would you treat John Jones like you treat Terrell Owens for all them years? Like they didn't let T O in for basically ten years, maybe longer. I think it was at least ten years. Because right. of how T.O. was, all his off-field shit is. But it's like once you're in that, like, like he, he got left, in, he left it on the field, right. uh, T.O. Mm-hmm. and eventually got in. I get what you're saying, right? But John Jones is probably one or maybe the best pound for pound fighter of all time, like of all time. So it's like, all, how do you deny him? It's like, damn, you're gonna deny. It. That's like denying Jerry Rice. It's like Jerry Rice was doing, but Jerry matter. Rice wasn't doing that but, kind but, but of shit. What if he was doing like crazy? It's like, damn, you really gonna let Jerry Rice not in the fucking thing? Like, but it's he, like, okay, it's, it's like, like Terrell Owens. It's like Tiger. If they didn't let Tiger in because he had twenty Fuck. three, four fucking misses, I think that makes him get in the Hall of Fame easier, no? <laughs> Into the pimp <laughs> Hall of Fame. Yeah, that motherfucker's in I mean, like I said. Do drugs, don't do drugs. But I, what I'm curious about is more of, like, do you really not care to set an example for anybody? Because he has kids, too. Yeah, I think he's more of a real model than a role model. He's, he's a real model? Like, he's like, this is what <laughs> adulting really is? This is, like, real life <laughs> shit. Like, people really go through this real life shit. And it's like, you either learn from my mistakes or go through my mistakes. It's like, I'm not really here to... I mean, I guess his own kids, he probably should be, but it's like... But you got to think about it this way. It's like having, like, like a porn star as a mom. Like, one day you're going to, like, realize your mom's on the internet. Yeah, like Riley Reed and all yeah, that. Yeah, like, if Riley Reed were to get pregnant, her daughter one day is going to have to live in the light of her mom being a porn yeah, star. Tr- maybe. You know what I mean? And now it's like, his kids are going to have to be like, yeah, my... My dad did cocaine and, and hit old ladies. Hit old ladies and all this shit. Hey, pussy, you still there? Yeah, like that's <laughs> legendary. That's legendary. But like, I get what you're saying. So, what, do you think he has like mental issues, like just from getting 
hit in the head? Do you think that's like something? Do you something, think that's what's leading to this? Do you think like? But he's because like domestic violence isn't like a thing that just everybody does. No, but not everybody does. You know. So you think there may be an excuse for CTE, which CTE I think genuinely is a real condition a disease so that's what i'm saying do you think that could possibly that's potential i never had thought about it that way he has been in a lot of fights gotten hit a lot of times i mean you know big fights we, too we have not hit- yet seen like a ufc fighter get through like go through a a thing like cte you know i've never seen anybody legendary that's in there like chuck liddell's not in that shit uh tito ortiz you know, just, yeah yeah you could run down the list i mean there, there's a chat. There's a possibility, and if you're one of his close friends, or you're Dana White, or anybody that really cares about the guy, look, you better have him get checked or something. Because that's domestic, a good point. Domestic violence could lead to something else. I ain't gonna lie, that's probably one of the best points my brother's ever brought up on the podcast <laughs> to this day. So that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you need, like, I think it's, it's a possibility. The way he might not even be thinking. Like, like rationally, yeah, he's probably I mean. just impulse because he doesn't really understand what he's doing because of the CTE, and that's what it is: is your brain ain't functioning properly. Yeah, and that's it, what it. And I think it's a concern if you're already you're at this uh, point at, in his career. It's like, fuck, bro. He did. I mean, I would suggest that he gets tested, and then that would kind of clear the air. Then people are like, oh shit! Like if he does, then it's like, oh and then shit. it sucks because he's not gonna fight again. Well, that's not true. Do you think they'll let him fight still? I mean, the way he's going, he is never going to fight anyways. That's true. He's probably going to be suspended. Like, we've been looking at him suspended for two years and this suspension here and there. And now he's been out for two more years doing whatever the fuck he's doing, training canines, I guess. I don't know. And then this happens, and now it's like... It forces Dana White's card. It's like, well, now I can't even put you on a card, bro, because what? But then again, I don't know, because... Like I said, I don't – it's hard for athletes at that level, I hate to put it this way, to really be in any trouble. Look at Greg Hardy. But I look at it this way. He don't have to put – John Jones is not the big fight no more. You got Adesanya, Usman. You can't tell me if John's on a card. You got Shane O'Malley. It could be shitty fucks on the rest of the card. And John Jones just fight whoever. He could fight Brock Lesnar. Yeah. And then fucking – that would probably be pretty lit. But he can fight whoever, <laughs> and the card will make money just from John. That's true, but I'm saying he's not like the ultimate. Like there's still guys that he's you the could... ultimate, but it it's like the UFC ain't hurting without him. Yeah, you have you have seven dudes, and you have a John yeah. Jones. It's like would you, you got rather Naganu? You got Jan. Mm, he's he's people want to see bigger guys like uh, Adesanya, like uh, Usman. Usman, kind of. He's Not a, a lot of people are Usman fans. I'm a big um, Usman fan. I love Usman. Who's the uh, um, Who's the guy we went and seen? Jan Belhovich. Oh, yeah. That's Jan, what I, that's I was thinking of Peter. Peter Jan. Yeah. yeah, you were thinking of Peter Jan. Okay. Piotr Jan, my bad. Piotr. Piotr. Piotr Jan. Whatever. But anyways, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's like, there are guys. There's a lot of like people. even this weekend, for instance, we're gonna run down the card here in a minute. But like Nick Diaz, the Diaz brothers, when they show up, it's a big card. That card is gonna be sold out, pay per view, probably sold out arena because the Diaz brothers are entertainers. They're, they're very entertaining. They are very entertaining. Whether win or lose, they are entertaining. They're gonna go. Balls Which I'll say to this, just to kind of jump into that card a little bit. Nick Diaz didn't do as much as I thought he would. But then again, if y'all don't remember Nick Diaz, Nick Diaz was not Nate Diaz. No, he's a calm, smarter yes, version of he's him. very chill. Yeah. He just wants to fight. He's going to fight whoever. And he, I will be shocked, and I will come out here and say it, if he doesn't throw down. Like, he, he is not going in there to do something. He's going to fucking brawl. No, no, no. They fight the same. Their mentality yes. are totally different. But Lawler has kind of taken a step back because he is older now. But Nick hasn't been in for six Seven, years now. I think it says six years. So I'm just way off the kind of same topic, off topic. But, yeah, I get what you mean. John Jones isn't as big of a name anymore, but he's still got, got the presence. It's just like if they you, announce tomorrow that John's fighting in December, they're fucking everyone's going wild. That, yeah, I mean, even I, if they say, "Yo, you're fighting fucking 
Derek Lewis. That's what I was gonna say, dude. That's crazy. I, <laughs> you're fighting the Black Beast. Yeah, you're fighting Black Beast. Well, that's not for the belt. It don't matter. Yeah, so like, I, you're fighting that guy. They'll be like, "Damn, this is gonna be kind of fucked up for Derek Lewis. He's gonna yeah, get, he's fucked, gonna get up. fucked up." But you get to fight John Jones, so you get a good pay. You get a good pay. Yeah. I don't know, John. Even if it ain't, I would love it to be on our podcast. But even if it ain't on our podcast, just I don't know, man. Like I want to know what is going on. Why is this still happening, bro? Dude, and he's been being a New Mexican native as as we are, we've born and raised. We love to see New Mexican fighters, and we want to see John Jones. I think I speak for ninety percent of New Mexicans. Mm-hmm. We want to see John Jones in the UFC. We've been waiting. We want to see you fight Naganu. Yeah, we've been waiting, but it's not even just that. It's just like, how do you manage these things? Like, what are you uh, like? I'm going to say this. The people you're probably around don't give a fuck about you, bro. Fuck no. Because if they did, they would have put this to rest a long time ago. You still have, like, bad apples in your little batch. You have to. Or you're the bad apple. One of the two. Yeah, because it's just like, bro, how are you still getting in trouble? <laughs> That's crazy. Like, like how? Now, now, this is a different topic. But, like, a domestic violence, you can't have firearms after that. It's like a. If he gets convicted, yeah. Yeah. That's so, pretty much. I mean, I guess you said as as athletes, it doesn't really. It don't apply as much. I don't know. It sucks to say that because you think of athletes as being, you know, your normal individual just like anybody else. But, I mean, there's different standards. Who was the cowboy that got a DWI? And I this seen him get signed. I think it was Antoine Woods a couple years ago. And now he's getting signed again. It's like, man, these guys. Well, any uh, Joe Blow gets one in, on the street. It's like, dang, you, it's hard yeah, to find a job. Done. It's hard to find a job. Yeah, so Fuck. I don't know. It's so. it's tough to really view from a perspective that I don't completely understand because I'm not out there doing dumb shit like that anymore. Like, yeah, and even then, when I did do dumb shit, that wasn't the shit that I was doing. So it makes me wonder, like, how is it that you're well above any immature age that you're making this idiotic mistake still i seen it in i seen a little side by side it was like a what is it called whenever two fighters were like like going back and the forth like facing off that were facing off and they um it was there was daniel cormier and john jones and cormier's like they're like what do you think about John Jones' mistakes? He's like, those aren't mistakes. Like, mistakes are, like, you learn from them. He's not learning from shit. Like, he's like... Yeah, and he said that a long time ago. And it's like, damn, bro. Like He, he almost knew sense. what was going to happen. And he said he's going to keep... Fu- he said he's going to keep fucking up. And that that's just come to, to, to show itself. And, and that's just been the truth for John Jones is he doesn't know how to stay out of... Out of, and I know they're going to say, like, any publicity is good publicity, but that's, like, it gets old, man. It's like even Connor kind of cleaned up his act. Mm-hmm. Like, Connor had that little bit of a streak of, like, doing stupid shit. But even now, Connor, you don't really hear much about Connor. Other than he doesn't like MGK. <laughs> MGK yeah, but, but even know. then, that's not like a domestics towards a, like, an old lady or doing cocaine. And you know what I mean? Like... I don't know what he even did last this last time just now this like what this morning. I'm just saying though, like I'm just putting it in general. Like yeah. it's not like Connor hit that old man that one time at the bar, but it was in a time frame of like a few years. Oh yeah, you know when he, he first throwing, got famous, throwing got, chairs through yeah, he got paid. He he was on top of the world, so I can I can take his and not necessarily make an excuse, but it's a little bit more understandable. Like he just blew up overnight almost. Like, he had the money, the fame, everything at his leisure. John's had it forever. And look, now he's still fucking up. There's not any more excuses. Like, you're just basically a fuck up. You're You're a successful fuck up. You're you're okay with it at at that point. Yeah. Oh, I already been through the legal system. Let's just do something else. Yeah, you're just a successful fuck up. You can beat anybody's ass. And I'm not saying I'm going to beat your ass or I can fuck you up or whatever. I'm not saying that. Uh, but I, what I am saying is, like, you've won belts. Cool. You've proven your, your worth in the, the fighting game. But as a, like, a regular citizen? Yeah. Well, as, like, a good Samaritan, yeah. you failed. Like, yeah. you're the you're one of the worst role models there are in the success rate. Like, look at Tom Brady. Look at Michael Jordan. Look at Kobe Bryant. Like, you may have, like, the accolades where it's like, oh, I'm a and, champion, champion. And they all have, like, something that you're like, oh, 
Tom cheated. Oh, Kobe had accusations. Oh, Jordan was a gambler. But like, like now you think of those guys and like, that's not necessarily one of the things that come up. Yeah, now you like, it's like oh, Jordan sponsors it's, all these. It's like John colleges. Jones. Oh, the guy that got cocaine and you know this all this. this, this. Yeah. Oh, he was suspended for two years and hasn't fought for four. Yes. Like that guy. Oh, yes, man. exactly. That's what. That's where it separates like the best of the best, and yeah. then you're you're one of the best. He's like, like Josh did... Gordon of the UFC. That sucks. Yeah, because Josh Gordon's like reinstated next week, but it's like he's probably gonna be suspended again. But Josh Gordon doesn't have the the the, the... accolades. Yeah, like, like accomplishments. Just, and shit. Yeah, like John's up there with like if you name like t- top, top ten yeah. fucking athletes of all time, Jones might be in there, but he's like ten. Yeah, John Jones, at least in UFC, he's probably like top two, top three. Well, he's one. I don't know who you put up there other than like C- uh, George St. Pierre. Like, I don't Habib? know. It's hard because when you look at Habib and his wins early, they weren't against like the best. Yeah. Like at the end, he fought some good guys. What about Ma- McGregor? Again, he didn't fight the best of the best. Like he fought Aldo. But he never rematched him. Should have rematched him. He fought um, Eddie Alvarez. It wasn't really fair, but he like there was guys, but it was like not those guys. John's fought Gustafson twice, Cormier co- uh, like three times. Like <laughs> three like times. you know you fight those big name guys like, and you're at the one of the top. He always fought the best guy. Like John was the defending champ time after time. So he's there's not a guy. There's just not a guy. I don't know a guy right now. Like, unless Nagano starts knocking out, but he's not fighting no more. It's weird. It's like, you got the belt, and now you're scared. Usman's kind of becoming that guy. He fights the best guy, the best guy, the best guy. Usman best fights guy. anybody. He's, but that's the, the... Like, Jake Paul, he'll fight. Whoever signs up... Holloway he's, was on that wave. Holloway was. He was fighting the best but guy. But then he kind of... He fell off. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying is John... It was like Ronda Rousey. Anasana does it too. He fights. He goes up and fucking fights the best of the best. Yeah, but when you really like, I'm not saying the guy. Like, it's not fair to say, well, those guys aren't that good, but they really aren't. Like, no one's on Anasana. That's That's why he did move up. That's a level. Yeah, that. But no one was on John's level. He was just fighting the dudes that were number one. But Cormier is like one of the best. I know people don't like Cormier, but for me, as a fan of the game, he's one of the best. Not. Top five or so, but he's up there because he was twenty two and one. Like yeah. he had only really technically lost one to John Jones. The other one he got uh, no contest because Jones had gotten caught cheating. Yeah. And then the one he won lost against Stipe was later in heavyweight. That's like true. I don't know, but yeah, I, just, I, get, I get what you're saying. John Jones has that. Uh, he's either one or two. Yeah, I don't know. John, get your act together, brother. I want to see you fight, dude. I don't want to see you in the news for the wrong reasons. At least fight fucking Jan. Or Even fuck. the Paul brothers learn how to get their shit together. Yeah, they don't do anything to fuck up the bag. No, they don't. And John, <laughs> maybe that's the problem is nobody's willing to take it away from John, and John just takes it for granted. That's true, because then he could end up being like, uh, who's the dude that they, the UFC traded for? Fucking Ben Askren? Fucking... Demetrius Johnson. Oh could. yeah. I mean, I don't think they'll ever get to that point, but it's like it's a possibility. You know what I mean? Right. I don't know. Let's move on though to some actual positive news. At least in my eyes, it's positive. We got a UFC card pay per view this weekend. Actually, tomorrow. Well, actually tonight, because tomorrow is tonight, and tonight is tomorrow. Yeah. And right now it's today. So <laughs> UFC two sixty six. We ain't going over the rest of the card. We're going main card. Fuck the rest of them. I think there's some good fights on the back end, but I, I, let me see. I'm just gonna look really quick. Uh, preliminary, preliminary. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I, I, I messed up. Earlies. Let's see. Do I see anybody I know? Um, that Matthew. I was gonna say no. That dude. He's pretty good. He's coming up. Maybe watch out for him. Marlon Moraes, that's what's up. He's the main event on the preliminary card. Dan Hooker's on there. I don't really care about him no more like I once did after he got his ass beat by fucking what's his name. I think he's beating that fool, though. He probably will. Those are a couple of fights. So main card, uh, you got a woman fight, early woman flyweight, which is 125. Uh, Jessica Andraz, Cynthia Calavillo. 
Uh, I'm going Jessica Antra. She's just a beast. She's a beast bro. Yeah, she's, she's a beast. just a beast. She's, she's gonna probably hit her with the uppercut and knock her ass out. These girls brawl though. They will get it. That's They're gonna saying. get it. They're gonna throw hands. Neither one of them. I mean, Antra's can submit, but she is a brawler. She's a brawler. So that's why I think I she's got Entourage. Win. Same. Uh, next fight, heavyweight. Sh- it, God, I like both these guys. I don't even know how to say the second one. So Curtis name. Blades is vi- fighting. I don't know how to say his first name, but his last name is Rosenstruck. And Jude. that was a beast. Jaharzio? Jaharzio. Rosenstruck? Yeah. I okay. like Curtis Blades. I like Rosenstruck. I think he's just a bigger, better, faster, bigger fucker. Is that a heavyweight? Yeah, that's yeah, heavyweight. Yeah, that's heavy. So I'm going to go Rosenstruck. He's got Curtis Blades. Not bad. Either one. Hopefully you see a knockout. You should. It's going to be a knockout. And Definitely. then this is when the car really starts. Yeah, I mean, 17 years in the making. Nate Diaz. I almost said Nate. Nick Diaz versus... Robbie Lawler. <sighs> you, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to gonna say something here. And I know, man, I, I mentioned they were going to brawl earlier. It might get ugly. Like, ugly in the sense so of... it might be a stoppage. Well, no. I meant ugly as in these fuckers are old. They're oh, fat shit. and they're slow. Oh, it's going to be like an ugly, like sloppy Yeah, fight. it's going to be sloppy in like the third round. It's going to be like they're so tired. They're just throwing blows and they can't do anything else. I could see Cause that. Originally, I don't know how much you guys know, but Nick Diaz originally said 170. Uh-huh. Then he changed. He's like, fuck it, catch weight. Then he changed and said 185. So then Robbie came out the other day and he said, it kind of pissed me off because I was cutting weight. Then I wasn't cutting weight. And now I'm cutting weight. So they all they both made 185. Little, yeah, but yeah. it's like, why? Like... Like why? Like Nick is just playing games, I guess, pretty much. But he looked slow. Mm-hmm. I seen him in his like warm up shits and stuff, and he looked slow. Like Robbie's at least been in the game. I'm gonna I'm gonna go upset if that's even an upset. I'm going they Robbie have, Lawler, they man. Have Lawler as the 161 uh, favorite. Okay, then I'm going with the favorite here. I I don't know. I hope just to see a good fight. I'm not really a Diaz fan. I'm not really a Lawler fan. But I am a fan of a good fucking fight. Yeah. I think I'm going to go Don't go Diaz. I'm going to go Diaz again. Okay. That's cool. I mean, you can't go wrong. I just I don't even care. I would ne- I wouldn't even bet on this fight. If you're going to bet, I'd bet on the other two. The next two fights, yeah. Or the next two. But then it's hard because I feel oh, like the first two and the next two, yeah. Yeah, the first two we mentioned with the Curtis Blades, Rosenstrike, and Andraj and Calavillo. But these next two, the main and the co main, is tough. At least one's tough. I think the girl fight, the co main event, it's easy. Flyweight, Shevchenko, Shanko. Murphy. Go. I like Murphy, but she is old. Shevchenko's and, the go. Uh, and it's like. <sighs> You don't go against a fighter like that. No, you don't. And I think it's just going to be ugly again. I think it's going to be a submission. Rear naked Probably our fucking just Arm bar maybe. bitch is bleeding out. Yeah, they might stop it from a cut. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know. Shevchenko's just a beast. I love her, man. Yeah. I would fucking that, marry that girl. That Russian, for real. That Russian yes, motherfucker. Yes, bro. Like, she's just a baddie. I'm, so, I'm going, yeah, Shevchenko, man. Okay, main event. I'm going with the fat guy, bro. I don't even care. Alexander Volkanovsky versus Brian Ortega. He's not is it, fat. Is it rumors? Is that rumors true that this fool was like overweight? Like before Maybe he f- may wait. No, he no, was no, even no, no. Before he even fought, like UFC, he was fat. Like he was a fat. I mean, guy. he's a stocky. He used to be a rugby player. You know that? Watch. Well, just pull it up. We'll keep going. It don't matter. So the fact of the matter is, they both may wait today. He made it clear under. He was one forty four and a half. Brian came in at one forty four even. I mean, Brian looks good. I'm going to say this. He looks confident. He looks good. He looks focused. He's saying all the right things. Um, But I'll say this. Like, Volkanovski, I've not seen yet except at... That's not even that nigga except maybe when he was in rugby. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, like, that's when he was in rugby, dog. I'm telling you, he used to be a rugby fucking player. Yeah, look at him. Yeah, it was like a rumor going around. Ah, they're fucking stupid. Whoever said that shit, I'm. I keep it real. Y'all know me. Just a motherfucking realist. I like Volkanovski. I used to like Brian Ortega, but then Brian Ortega got messed up by Max Holloway, and Volkanovski whooped the shit out of Max Holloway the first fight. Second fight, yeah, debatable. You could say one 
or the other won the fight. Hey, I wouldn't even be mad at you. This fight, though, Volkanovski knows. He's not fought this guy. He's had to prepare. Brian Ortega almost feels like he already won. I'm a guy that likes to keep the guys that are focused and doesn't get off track. Volkanovski hasn't shown me that in the last week of Embedded. Shout out UFC Embedded. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to beat this guy anytime soon. <sighs> I don't think so either. That guy is an animal. He is an animal. And I, like I said, I don't think anybody's beating him anytime soon. And I don't think Brian Ortega is going to be that guy. I don't think so, but I'll say this. If you go with Brian Ortega or if Brian Ortega wins, I won't be surprised. Because uh, he does, he looks focused. He's saying all the right things. He's kind of in Volkanovski's head, it seems like, just the hair. I won't be surprised, but I'm confident I'm going Volkanovski. Then they're fighting in Ireland, huh? Or no, the, they're in Vegas. Vegas. No, they're in Vegas. For real? Yes, because that Megan, that uh, Lauren Murphy was talking about it. Can I remember they were saying something? Oh, yeah, they are fighting in Vegas. Yeah, I thought they, they were don't fight anywhere anymore. Really? Yeah. Not really. They'll they fly here du- and there. Dubai but and shit, that's it. Dubai, not much, really, but more like... They'll go to, like, Houston or Florida or some shit. For some reason, I thought I'd seen they were fighting in New Zealand. So I was like, damn. But, yeah, Volkanovski, I don't know. Like, I think uh, this is my prediction. Volkanovski, second round knockout. Damn. Yeah, that's what I got happening. <sighs> if it's not, I don't think, like, it's going to be like a TKO knockout or something yeah, like that. Yeah, but yeah. I say it's going to come to a stop in the second round by Volkanovski. That's my prediction. Uh-huh. <laughs> So we'll see. I mean, I got, I got bet. I got a bet on that one. I'm excited. I like. I like UFC. I like when there's main events like this. I'm not. I'm into the UFC regardless. I watch it all the time. I'll like last week. I watched the fights. I watch the fights all the time. I just don't ever talk about them until it's a big fight because not everybody's on that level of UFC. You know, everyone's on NFL and baseball right now and whatever. So I'm like, cool. You know, do you? I'm cool with that. But, you know, this is my game. I love the game of fucking UFC, and that's what it is. So Yeah. and I, I UFC, you can pick and choose who you like. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's cool. Yeah. And that's why I like it. Like my, my favorite fighter is Adesanya and Sugar Shane. Yeah, right now, I don't know. I just like seeing good fights. That's Vol- all I care uh, about. Volkanovski's about to be my favorite after the weekend. <laughs> I'm okay with whoever wins. Just give me a good fight. I'm going to be cheering Volkanovski on. But if he gets fucked up... I don't care. Like I do. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> fuck it, Ryder take good shit. No, like I ain't a fan of you. I ain't gonna homie hop or nothing like that. But fuck, I'm gonna be cheering the fight on. I'm be like, yo, that motherfucker, he's sick. <laughs> or that motherfucker looked good, talked all the talk, and he backed it up. If Ryan Ortega does that, I'll respect it. I don't mean now I'm a fan. I'm gonna be hoping for a rematch or something, but we'll see, you know, you never know. I'm just excited. I like seeing fights. And championships, two championships. Even though one, I don't think it's going to be close, but whatever. Yeah, I don't think that one's going to be so, close. What else? Do we have anything else before we uh, jet off? I don't think so. UFC's, I mean, I don't think so. We already did our predictions on the NFL, so. No, we didn't. Did we? We didn't do no, Well, we, we re- kind of did, we did it. Recap, like we were talking. Yeah. Let's just talk. I want to talk about this. So this topic came up on Facebook earlier. And I just want to talk about this because the game was last night against Houston versus Sam Darnold. Yeah. Or, yeah. Houston versus Carolina. No, Carolina Houston won. Versus, uh, Carolina, Carolina won. won. And they were comparing, like, who he was playing, you know. Uh, his upcoming opponents. His upcoming opponents. uh that I've heard comparisons to Baker, all kinds of stuff. Because Baker and then played Houston the week before, won 31 21. Houston also had Tyrod Taylor, but Houston's defense was still healthy. Yeah. And Browns have one of the best lines, one of the best duo backs, and some of the best weapons on the outside. Very fast weapons. So then fast. you have Sam Darnold against not one of the best lines, probably one of the worst lines. You got a back in. Uh, Christian McCaffrey, but he got hurt in second quarter early, yesterday. Early, and then you have somewhat good receivers. I wouldn't say good, good. No, they're DJ Moore's pr- looking really good as of right now. I'm I haven't put him in the elite. No, he's never gonna be an elite. I think he's he's a Terry McLaurin they for them. They don't know. 
they don't know who to guard really. Everybody's just a random number two. That's but you, that's when you think you could go one on one. I think DJ Moore is getting a little help now. Yeah, he's killing it. But nonetheless, when you compare the two or anybody, I said this: Sam Darnold and the Panthers are playing who they have to play. They played the Jets, beat the Jets. They didn't choose the Jets to be sucky. The they, Jets to suck. You're right. They played the Saints, which. A lot, I would say, would argue that they thought the Saints were good with Winston. Well, after you whip on the Packers, I think it's like... It's just kind of... It's like, oh, damn, these motherfuckers are true. Right. And then... Then they went and whooped on them. They whooped their ass. They they didn't just barely beat the Jets. They beat the Jets. They didn't barely just beat the Saints. They whooped the Saints. They didn't just barely beat the Texans. They whooped the Texans. So, yes, I'm going to give credit to the defense... But I'm going to give credit to motherfucking uh, Sam Darnold. Rip to the defense. J.C. Horn broke his fucking foot. That That's was, what happened? Yeah, when he stepped, it just... Oh, that sucks. I thought it was an Achilles. I like, uh, at least it's not an Achilles. Yeah, but just, a foot's pretty bad, he too. broke his fucking foot. Eh, there goes his fucking defensive player here. <laughs> Mike and Parsons. He, he's Mike Parsons, my dog. Um, I just want to give respect to Sam Darnold. Yep. He's... he's, he's just killing the game right now. I know he, even his next opponent is Dallas, which is going to be a better offense, potentially a better defense. Playing the Eagles, they apparently suck. Then he plays like shitty teams still, like Vikings, Vikings Falcons, Giants, Broncos. I think like somebody like that, I or I don't even think it was the Broncos. It was somebody else shitty. It don't matter. Yeah, it was. Like, the fact of the matter is, they should probably go like nine and zero. Like there's potential nine and zero, eight and one. So they're three and zero right now. They play the Cowboys, Eagles, uh, Vikings, Giants, and Falcons. So there's the next five, six games. Yeah, six, five games. Six games. Five games. Five games. Are you sure? Six, One, six. two, three, four, five. Oh, because they beat Houston. They already beat Houston. Okay, so I'm just saying, even, let's say he loses to Dallas. Let's give him a loss. Okay, we'll give him a loss to Dallas because I am a Cowboy fan. I expect okay. Dallas to win. They should, but, we should beat that. Uh, okay, so let's say we beat him, and then he goes three and zero or four and zero. Four and zero. Four and zero. They're eight and one, right? Or seven, seven and, and one? one. Seven and one. Seven and one. At that point, do you respect them, or you still think, oh well, look at the competition? It's not like I I I look at it like you beating the teams that are in front of you. Like if if the the Bucks played all these teams. They were undefeated. They're like, they're not gonna be like, well, they were seventeen. Years old. That's what I'm saying. They're still professional teams, and I'm not. I know maybe I've said in the past. Ask Urban Myers about that. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, like, you have to win the games still. Yeah, you still got to. I mean, you don't have to win the games, but they're winning the games significantly enough. Like if you would have said, uh, I don't know who's that. Like the Broncos, they're two and zero, but they've only played the Giants and the Jets. Not their fault. Or who was it? The Giants and the... Who did they play last week? They played somebody decent, didn't they? No, they played someone sucky. Was it the Was it the fucking Texans? No, because the Browns played the Texans. It don't matter. Nonetheless, everybody that's undefeated is under. Now, is there going to be a team like the Steelers did last year with 11-0 and and fucking ended up losing the first round of playoffs? Maybe Carolina does do that. But look at it this way. I look at it this way. Look at Zach Wilson in New York and look at Sam Darnold now. It's not it's not the quarterback, man. It's the fact that the organization sucks sometimes. Yeah, the Broncos played the Giants, the Jags, and now they're playing the Jets this week. Oh yeah. So if the Jets end up losing to the Broncos, are we gonna sit there and say Broncos suck? No. No, I'm going to say, well, their opponents may not be that good, but they're still beating them. Like, what if, if they lost, then we'd be discrediting them. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. I'm looking at the Panthers after the Falcons. They Oh, they play the Patriots, so. That might be tough. Then Cardinals, Washington, maybe, Dolphins. Maybe, maybe. Then they play the Falcons again. Uh-huh. The next real, I think, game is the Bills, Bucks, Saints, Bucks. So they end on that four, four games. games. That's a three out of four game tough stretch. And I don't really see a team uh, out of all those teams now looking fucking that could really beat. So they could potentially go like ten and seven, eleven and six. Because Cardinals, I think they'll probably lose Bills, Bucks, and Bucks. So was that four games? Four games, maybe one to Dallas or one of these yeah. teams. I uh, maybe yeah. Maybe. I don't know, man. Just give Sammy Darnold. I'm not trying to say he's the best. I'm just saying he's a lot better than what we thought he was. Yeah. So give the man some respect. I think that's about it. Uh, 
Do we put him in the MVP category yet? Mm, I mean, I don't know how you don't because he's averaging like 300 yards and 888 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. So he's a little under 800 or little, 300 a game. Yeah, a little, a little less. Yeah. He's like 3696 a, or 296 a game. Yeah. And then he's averaging uh, how many touchdowns? He's got how many? Three. He's got three total uh-huh. for the year. He has two rushing, so he has five. So he has five. So he's averaging. Just, they're just. I don't know if he has more in the other two games, but I know in Houston he had two rushing touchdowns. Oh, okay. So then he's only averaging like a touchdown a game, a little more. But if you look at it, look at it this way, he's improved. what's his yards? Eight hundred and eighty-eight. Oh, duh, you just said that. Uh, but he only had nine touchdowns last season, and he's already got half of that he in has, three games. Yeah. So it's like. It's, I don't know. I just I like to see players approved. do good. And everyone that drafted Christian McCaffrey, I feel so bad for you, but I told you not to do it. Barkley too, though. Yeah, but fuck you. Yeah. I don't even care about Barkley. I used to care before week one. Like I, even I Zeke's looking better than these two. <laughs> at this that nigga looks sucky. <laughs> I know. If you're a Cowboy fan, you probably think that one sucks. Whoever the people that look good right now is Nick Chubb, uh, DC, Dalvin. Did he do good last week against He's like Arizona? third on rushing. Oh, list, okay. So. Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon second, so uh, he's, he's good. And Derrick Henry. Oh, the, who's number one? It's got to be Derrick Henry. He just ran for like 200 yards last week. Let's see. Yeah, Derrick Henry. See, so I don't know. I'm just excited because football's still back. We're, we're ready in week three. Oh, Christian McCaffrey's too. And then Joe Mixon. And yeah, but Le- Christian's going to be not on that list after this week. <laughs> Lamar Jackson and Dalvin. Oh, yeah. You know, that was a story I wanted to talk about. Imagine if Lamar Jackson led the league in rushing. It's possible. Has it ever happened? Probably, Probably not. Probably not, bro. I would say the only guy would have Lamar Jackson it. was the highest running rushing yards ever for a quarterback. Yeah, but we also have never had running backs rushing like this nigga's rushing. Like... Like, think about Derrick Henry, 2,000 yards and shit. Michael Vick would have been the only guy. Only guy, but at that point, you had, like, Priest Holmes, Sean Alexander, LT. Yeah, so, I don't know. Anyways, hopefully Lamar does that because I have them in the Super Bowl. Lamar. The, I also have a big upset. I did make predictions, but there's one upset this week, and I like to make. The Chargers are going to beat the Chiefs. It's going to happen. That's it. That's That's all we have for this motherfucking episode.